my surroundings. I became quite good at like putting green screens up and trying to think about ways to do monitors and stuff like that. Um, but it was, um, you know, interesting. It was a massive, massive learning curve, but uh, one that I'm really grateful for. You know, I wouldn't have changed it for the world. Mm, I'm just so happy you did. It gave us something to listen to, um, of course, during this crazy time. Um, what was the inspiration or what's behind the title Future Nostalgia? Well, it was kind of like the, the, the amalgamation between two things, obviously. It's it's like the nostalgia era, which is like where all my childhood influence uh, like childhood influences come from, which is a lot to do with like my parents and the music that they listen to at home. And that was very much like um, like Jimmy Raquai and Blondie and Prince and David Bowie and all this stuff that I was so inspired by, but I only knew about them through my parents. And then the, the future part is kind of, you know, my current life and where I currently am in my music and the, the direction I want to go in. So it was kind of like trying to marry the two together in terms mm-hmm. of like something that's like kind of reminiscent to something that maybe you might have heard in terms of like the nostalgia effect but yeah. then it was very new sounds in terms of production mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I definitely got that vibe like when you listen to your album it's it's like a bunch of different genres but still with your dua style and touch to it I loved everything um, but I will say that Boys Will Be Boys really put out for me like and I just want to ask like what was the inspiration behind that and was there a specific reason why you made it your last track on your album um so the inspiration behind that was very much um, something that happened in my life something that I felt like I needed to talk about I feel like I talk about women's issues and women's equality a lot and I felt like I needed to put something on the record that was kind of directly addressing that and maybe like the growing pains of what it's like to be a woman. Um, The reason it's the last song on the track is because the first song on the track is Future Nostalgia, which is kind of this like false sense of confidence, very in your face, super sassy, claiming I'm like the female alpha, you know, it's it's this like embodiment of an energy that I almost wish I had, you know, and Mm -hmm. when I sing it, that's how I feel, you know, I feel like really empowered and I feel badass and that's, you know, that's the energy that I want to convey and then I felt like Boys Will Be Boys shows a completely other side of the spectrum in terms of Mm. feminism and just shows maybe a little bit more of a vulnerable side at the same time, but it's kind of two different sides of the spectrum still at the same time, I feel like it it shows solidarity and empowerment with other women that maybe listen to the song and feel exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. It it felt like it was important to have that parallel on the album. Yeah. That's the last Mm -hmm. song on the album. I felt that. I really, really did. Um, And, like, on your album, like, I know it's a silly question, um, but do you have a favourite song or is there, like, a top choice, like, when you perform it, like... It emotionally like puts you on fire when you start singing it and performing it. Um, you know, I love, especially now with my live stream coming up. Um, I've been rehearsing a lot, and the the songs that I've really loved performing. I mean, I've I've had such a fun time performing all of them, but it's really been Pretty Please and Hallucinate had two songs that I'm dying to get up on stage and just like finally perform them. Um. Mm-hmm. That's going to be fun. It's just like, it depends, you know, and, and, and the more comfortable you get with a song, then you kind of, I don't know, you, you embody it in a different way and you become a bit more right. comfortable with it and that almost becomes your favourite song because I feel like you then get kind of lost in it. Um, yeah. But it depends. It's kind of hard to tell.